make sure that every teacher who's coming in, joining in, can perform at that academic excellence level. So, of, of course, you see, uh, there are mentors, you know, who basically, so of course, there's this just, just the term, the nomenclature, you know, which is different. I think um, coaching exists in reality in almost every school space. So even in a college or at a university level, I mean, we may not formalize the whole thing, but it does exist in some form or nature. And um, so, so does it at St. Kabir's uh, Chandigarh also. So, of course, there are mentors, you know, who are there to guide the teachers and handhold and whatever. So, but I, I mean, I'm, I mean, there's a quick thought when, you know, the first speaker, Arati ma'am, you know, probably was talking and wherein she mentioned about uh, hierarchy and, you know, those issues when we were discussing. So, I feel that, you know, if we have a, like, instead of a coach or a mentor, if there's a name like a buddy, you know, where you feel that, you know, we are equals and you know, no one's better than the other. And again, sir, today schools, even in our own country, there are schools which are looking at self-directed learning for students, giving them a choice what to learn. Why can't we give it to our teachers to begin with? You know, that will set the culture as well and make it easy for us to take it down to the level of students. So why can't a teacher, you know, sort of choose that? And, uh, you know, we create that culture wherein she walks up and says that I need support for this. And even within from within the teachers group, they the teachers I mean can be given a choice to go and uh, be a part of you know someone else's lessons when they are delivering those lessons, and they select that you know I want her to be my buddy for this particular uh, topic that I feel uh, I need support for. So in this situation, sir, I mean coaching will become uh, more effective. Much more effective. Yes, sir. Much more effective. 